Hello, my name is Angela Socha. I'm the Interim Executive Director for Student Health and Wellbeing. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the Student Health and Wellbeing Cluster. Our goal is to promote a culture of health and well-being for the student community, to deliver equitable, high quality, safe and innovative services. Incorporating an inclusive approach, celebrating diversity, and supporting the adoption and maintenance of healthy behaviors, which contribute to the academic and personal development of all students. The cluster is made up of four units, Student Health Services, SHS, CAPS or Counseling and Psychological Services, Health Promotion Services, HPS, and the Administrative Team. Each area has multiple offerings, many of which will be discussed in this orientation. We hope you will take advantage of the cluster throughout your time here at UC San Diego. Before we go into more detail about student health and well-being, I want to take a moment to address how the campus is responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. The university has leveraged the scientific talent of the campus and the health system to develop a comprehensive plan designed to maximize the safety of our community. The plan has three core elements, reducing the risk of viral spread, early detection of viral activity, and interventions when cases are identified, including care for those who may acquire an infection or are exposed. Underlying this approach is the recognition and appreciation that this continues to be a changing situation with evolving science. To help with viral detection, there's ready access to COVID-19 PCR tests through the vending machines distributed throughout campus. You can access a test kit with your campus ID and then link that test to you through the UCSD app by capturing a barcode on the testing vial. Samples are dropped off in the collection bins and results are back in 24 hours in your My Student chart. We also monitor the wastewater streams throughout the campus for evidence of individuals shedding the virus. Buildings with positive sig sig signals are identified in the campus map on the Return to Learn website. This is consistently updated. If there is a signal in a building in which you live, study, or work, please test to make sure you're not the one who's shedding the virus. SHS will provide care and guidance for students who become infected. We will also have dedicated housing off campus with food delivery, as well as academic and mental health support for those who need to isolate. You will now be hearing from the individual departments. Hello, this is Dr. Stacy San Miguel. I am the Director of Medical Services here at UCSD Student Health Services. The mission of Student Health Services is to facilitate the retention, the academic advancement, and graduation of students by maintaining their maximum health and well being. We're here to serve you and to care for you while you're here at UCSD. Student Health Services offers a broad array of primary and specialty care services that's designed to meet the needs of our diverse student population. We have primary care providers staffing our primary care and urgent care areas to attend to your healthcare needs. Our specialty areas include women's health, sports medicine, LGBTQIA care, such as transgender care, behavioral health, travel medicine, and our multidisciplinary eating disorders program. Student Health Services is fortunate to have on site our own pharmacy, lab, and x-ray. We also have an optometry clinic and can um, offer acupuncture and nutrition services. Our nurses clinic is available for TB testing, vaccinations, um, and travel appointments. We have a 24-hour, seven-day week nurse advice line that can be accessed at 858-534-3300. Student Health is located centrally on the UCSD campus. We're located on Library Walk across from the UCSD Bookstore and Price Center. We're open Mondays through Fridays with late hours on Mondays. Normal hours of operation will vary during the breaks and summers and can be found at our website, studenthealth.ucsd.edu. Student Health Services also provides after hours health consultation. We have advice nurses that can address many concerns. Nurses may also direct students who need more immediate care to UC San Diego Health Systems urgent care or emergency medical ser services. For after hours care, please call 
5343300. We encourage students to schedule their appointments online through my student chart. Most appointments are available, or you can call and speak to a staff member at 858-534-3300. Student Health Services uses an electronic medical record platform called EPIC. This is integrated with UC San Diego Health and students can access their medical record through mystudentchart.ucsd.edu. You can directly communicate with your provider and our nursing team, see lab results and schedule appointments. Remote telemedical visits are also available. It's important that all incoming students activate my student chart as this is the primary way the student health providers and nursing team will contact you. So please download the MyChart app on your mobile device. This free app is available in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Once you open the MyChart app, please select UC San Diego Student Health and Wellbeing. It's important that you select UC San Diego Student Health Wellbeing as an organization in MyChart so that student health can directly communicate with you. You can log into my student chart using your AD login and password. Students can also access my student chart through the UCSD Student Health Services website. Why does the University of California have health requirements? The University of California has health requirements for students to reduce the likelihood of vaccine preventable disease and outbreaks from occurring on campus. This would include COVID-19. What are the UC incoming health requirements? In 2016, the University of California mandated that all incoming students complete TB screening and prove immunity to specific infections as recommended by the California Department of Public Health. All incoming students must complete the TB risk screening. And if you have any risk factors, you must complete the TB testing. The required vaccinations include COVID-19, Tdap, measles, mumps, and rubella, varicella, and meningococcal vaccine for those younger than age 22 years of age. For those students that don't have access to the Tdap vaccine in your home country, you can obtain the Tdap vaccine on campus in the fall during our flu or vaccine uh, Tdap vaccine clinics. Also, proof of vaccines or immunity by a blood titer can be used for proof of immunity for measles, mumps, and rubella and varicella. Please note that for Tdap, measles, mumps, and rubella, varicella, and meningococcal vaccines, there are only medical exemptions. How can you get help if you need it? If you need assistance with the health requirements, please send a message to ask a nurse in my student chart. The nurses are checking these messages from students and able to respond to you directly and quickly. If you have any technical issues, please um, email shstb at ucsd.edu. When you send your technical questions, please do not send any health or clinical information through email as this way is not secure. Our website and the grad division website are also alternative sites with additional information about our health requirements. Please complete these requirements as soon as you can to avoid enrollment holds. Thank you. My name is Jill Batika and I am the insurance and billing manager at UCSD Student Health and Wellbeing. I will provide you with some information regarding the health insurance requirement for all University of California students. The University of California mandates that all enrolled students have adequate health insurance coverage for their safety as well as our campus. To ensure students are covered while attending school, they are automatically enrolled in the school offered insurance plan known as UC SHIP. The plan is designed by students for students. UC SHIP is an affordable, comprehensive health insurance program that covers students on campus, nationally and globally. The cost for UC SHIP will be automatically billed to your student account each quarter. The cost this academic year is $671 per quarter for undergraduates. If you are already covered by an insurance plan, 
which provides adequate coverage, you may waive out of SHIP by filing a health fee waiver application on the Triton link during open time frames. The waiver application is available prior to each quarter, but it's best to complete the application prior to the fall so the student is waived for the entire academic school year. The waiver is open now until September 15, 2022. The health fee for insurance is on the bursar or student account each quarter as a non-academic fee requirement for all registered University of California students. If you plan to waive the health insurance, please act timely as we don't accept late requests and the waiver isn't a manual process. It must be completed on the Triton link prior to the beginning of the fall quarter each school year. You may cancel the waiver if a life event happens and the student needs insurance coverage. Just look on our website or call our insurance department for further direction. If you waive the school insurance successfully, you will be asked if you would like to enroll in RAFT. RAFT is the last question on the health fee waiver application. It stands for Reduced Access Fee for Tritons. RAFT is not an insurance plan, but a membership for $70 per quarter to obtain unlimited primary care appointments and in-house lab services at the Student Health and Wellbeing Clinic. Students that waive the school insurance are strongly encouraged to enroll in the RAFT offering. With RAFT, the student can receive care timely on campus without worrying about significant financial burdens. If further care is needed, the insurance team on campus will assist the student with finding providers under their insurance in the community. All University of California students are welcome to visit our UCSD Student Health and Wellbeing Clinic, and they may use any of the services at the student health clinics throughout the state of California at the University of California sites. Students keeping the UC SHIP offering may download a copy of their insurance card to their phone or mobile device by downloading the app Student Health, all one word, through the App Store or Google Play. Hard copy insurance cards are not mailed out. If you have questions, please take a look at our website. The QR code provided will take you to the insurance portion of the Student Health website. We are also available by phone, email, and Zoom. Thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Christine Glissman, pronoun she, her, and I'm a health educator in health promotion services. Our email is listed below as well as our webpage. So Health Promotion Services is a department on campus that supports all students, so undergrad, grad, and professional, and really helping to establish and maintain positive health behaviors during their time here in school and also to be used in the future as well to maintain health. We do that through two different ways. One, our individual services, and two, our campus-wide programs, presentations, and events. Our individual services are listed down below. All are free, but nutritional counseling, which I'll get into in a few slides. These are all holistic in nature. Again, really with the purpose of raising awareness, um, educating the students, and also building those skills to maintain positive health behaviors. We cover uh, stress, you know, sleep, physical activity, nutrition, um, all within sort of the scope of our services. Our campus-wide um, campaigns, presentation, and events, again, kind of span um, all the eight dimensions of well-being. So we're targeting physical health, we're targeting mental health, um, we're targeting financial health. So we have programs that kind of go in each one of those categories just to create a student that is flourishing on campus and learns skills and education in each one of those areas. Some of the pictures down below, we do a well-being fair in the fall. Um, we also have an active social media where we educate and also promote our events. We do awareness events like Out of the Darkness Walk, which is raises awareness for suicide prevention. We go over resources. And then also we have kind of those overall campaigns like STD a week, bringing awareness to safe sex practices. So to touch on nutrition counseling a little bit more, this is one of our individual services. Um, students can sign up and meet with one of our registered dietitians to help the student understand maybe their nutritional needs and if we're meeting those, 
also a space that provides education on nutrition, how to um, meet those needs on campus or off campus, and also just general guidance to help students meet those health goals. This service is free to students that have UC SHIP or RAFT. Those students that do not have um, those insurances would pay $20 per visit. Our dietitians are also integrated with our eating disorder committee, so can refer and work with those students. Um, they also meet with the other campus dietitians as well, um, so they can do those referrals back and forth with those other dietitians on campus. Some other programs that are run out of our office includes the Collegiate Recovery Program, which is for students that are seeking to reduce harm from or abstain completely from alcohol and drugs or other harmful behaviors. It really is a safe and supportive community for those in recovery or seeking recovery. It offers weekly support group meetings, which you can see listed on that first bullet point. Also sober living for undergraduate students, sober social events like hikes, yoga, coffee meetups, things like that, as well as providing service opportunities for the students. We also provide recovery ally training for students and staff and faculty to learn how to be um, inclusive to those that are maybe seeking recovery or in recovery. Our contact email is down below. We also do have an interest form that's on our webpage if you wanna learn more about the program or be involved. Another program that runs out of our office are the Wellbeing Peer Educators, which is a student group um, out of our office to help help us in our work. They create their own programs, they do their own presentations, all holistic, following the eight dimensions of well-being. And really they're just there as a supplement, that peer-to-peer -peer education, teaching students how to live a healthy lifestyle, learn those skills, and also um, build those habits. So they are um, nationally certified peer educator trained. So they go through a training program, um, to how to be a peer educator, as well as receive individual um, education on like alcohol and drugs, nutrition, physical activity, uh, stress, self-care, healthy relationships. So those are all the focus areas, as well as the zone where that students can get involved in if they have a particular area that they, they uh, gravitate towards. So besides being um, trained in all of those things, they can also receive co-curricular credit on their transcript if they meet um, 40 hours of volunteer work within the academic year. This is really a, a great opportunity for students to build those skills, both in presentations, also at leadership opportunities within the organization, um, and also just make friends with other like-minded individuals that are wanting to engage uh, their peers and how to flourish and live healthy lifestyles. If you're interested in the program, you can go ahead and snap that QR code that'll go straight to our application. Last but not least, we have the zone, which is a physical space on campus. So in the center of campus, it's across from the UCSD bookstore and right next to Jamba Juice. Um, a lot of programs and presentations also come out of this space, again, centered around the eight dimensions of well-being, so holistic in nature. Um, some events that, that are quite um, popular, one is the Therapy Fluffy, so you'll see one of the dogs in the pictures below, but these therapy dogs will come on campus and just provide some stress management uh, for the students. Students come, pet the dogs, they feel so much better after. That's one of the many events that comes out of our space. Besides those planned activities, you can also just show up and recharge both yourself. Students take naps in this space sometimes or they study. They also can charge their devices. The zone is open Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. to help kind of meet the students' uh, busier times. We also have a very active calendar of all of those activities that we do, which is at that QR code down below. Um, and then there's our Instagram tag as well as our webpage for the zone. And we hope to see you there. Welcome Tritons. My name is Dr. Tiffany O'Meara. My pronouns are she and her, and I am the Director of Outreach Services here at Counseling and Psychological Services. Today I'm going to be talking with you about Counseling and Psychological Services, otherwise known as CAPS, and what types of reasons why students visit us, what we do at CAPS, and how to connect with us. CAPS is the department on campus that provides mental health support and counseling to students. 
Our team is made up of psychiatrists, psychologists, licensed clinical social workers. As you can see, our staff are culturally diverse with a wide range of identities. We offer both in-person as well as virtual telehealth appointments. Our clinical services include individual counseling in which a student meets one-on-one -on -one with a counselor. We also provide couples counseling and we have group counseling as some problems are better addressed together in a group. We have several groups in which students get the unique opportunity to meet weekly with CAP staff. They also get support from other students who share similar experiences. Examples of some of our groups include Taming Anxiety and the Building Social Confidence Group. Some students will also be referred to medication treatment with one of our psychiatrists. Our services are free, so you don't pay for any appointments. And CAPS services are also confidential. That means that CAPS doesn't share information that you share with us, except for in extreme situations. We offer CAPS services in various language, in various languages in addition to English, including Cantonese, Farsi, Hebrew, Mandarin, Spanish, and Taiwanese. Students come in to see us for a variety of reasons. Here on the slide are a few examples of why students seek CAP services. We would like to emphasize that no problem is too big or too small. If you are experiencing an urgent need or crisis and need to consult with a mental health provider immediately, or if you're having urgent concerns about a friend, you can call CAPS and request to speak to a counselor over the phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Please note that this includes evenings, weekends, and holidays. Please don't hesitate to call us. Help is just a phone call away. This is our Triton's Rise Together workshop series. We reviewed the top reasons students visited CAPS and we identified workshop topics that we believe would help students the most. We created programming based on research from the fields of performance and positive psychology, mind-body science, and a focus on community building. Sport and performance psychology is often referred to as the science of success, while the positive psychology content is what we refer to as the art of well-being. So our hope is to bring together the science of success with the art of well-being for programming that aims to create success that is communal, spirited, and inclusive. All of these workshops are drop-in, which means there's no wait. There is a workshop offered daily, and they are advanced skill-building workshops. This slide shows you our community building forums that CAPS provided last spring quarter. Community forums are meeting spaces for people who share similar identities or similar experiences. They provide a safe space to discuss unique issues to the particular group in a supportive manner. Students can build relationships, learn from each other, and participate in meaningful, engaging conversations. For example, we have ADHD support, Black Student Support, and LGBTQ Community Forums. Also part of Triton's Flourish are a collection of online self-improvement programs that we call iFlourish. All tools are free, anonymous, and only available to UC San Diego students. Both of these programs provide a little something different, so you're welcome to sign up for both of them. Headspace is one of the most popular mindfulness apps that teaches you how to meditate in your everyday life. CAPS offers all features of Headspace Plus for no cost to UCSD students, but be sure to sign up through the iFlourish webpage to get the full set of benefits versus signing up through the App Store. This membership unlocks hundreds of meditations and exercises for sleep, anxiety, focus, and fitness. Headspace will teach you these life-changing skills in just a few minutes a day. We also have Shine, the inclusive mental wellness app for student well-being. Shine inspires users to look after their mental health with the help of meditation, gratitude exercises, logging your mood and journaling. Shine also sends daily motivational messages and articles, as well as the ability to attend monthly virtual wellness events. Special emphasis has been placed on the development of culturally relevant content 
and resources for BIPOC and LGBTQIA communities. All right, to connect with CAPS, call us at the phone number on this slide. From there, you will be scheduled with a brief telephone screening. During this 15 to 20 minute phone assessment, a CAPS counselor will confidentially assess your needs and help you find the right resources for your concerns. There are various treatment recommendations we make to support you. Some students may be referred to meet with an individual counselor. For others, group counseling or a skill building workshop may be the best fit. And this can be combined with recommendations for drop-in workshops, community forums, or our iFlourish online resources. Please note that individual counseling with CAPS is focused on specific goals and is not ongoing long-term therapy. For students who would prefer or need more frequent sessions, ongoing counseling, or some form of specialized counseling, they will be referred to treatment off campus using their health insurance. And in these cases, CAPS will provide step-by-step -step guidance with that referral process. So that's telling you a little bit about our CAPS services. Welcome to UC San Diego. Please check out our website and Instagram for additional info.